New arrival. Enjoy free digital fabrics in our marketplace. Really now? <gasps> Explore. Awesome. Free. I like it. Oh, look at that. Is this new? I didn't even know Clo had a store. Marvel Susanna, yes, but oh, look at that. It's free stuff. Swatch on single jersey. Yeah, baby. And then what do we do with that? Is that you just add that to the bag? Oh, my goodness. Ha! Huh. <laughs> that is cool. I was just saying today, I was, I am, um, I do not have a good selection of of things of um, neither HDRIs nor materials nor shaders. Roll up selected area. Now that is what I'm talking about. Objective: roll up selected area horizontally or vertically. Now exactly select area right click pop up roll up horizontally didn't i do that didn't i totally didn't find that and then you oh you have to select stuff for that to happen right right follow the indicated guideline roll up horizontally vertically and then simulate can't be that difficult can it so uh, is um flip super might have to go and select the whole geometry with a box tool here. Might just go roll the whole thing up like all like all this. Then you go right click. Roll up! <laughs> right, look at that. So I suppose we need to do it vertically. Horizontally would be this way, but roll up vertically. Let's let's try. Yeah, that's working well. Nothing's rolled. Let's stop the simulation. Try it again. Roll up vertically. Let's try. And then we simulate. And then it does that. But it doesn't kind of really stay there. <laughs> Let's try it horizontally. Yeah, that doesn't doesn't do the thing, does it? That is also not what we want to do. <laughs> does it mean so it's gotta be it's gotta be vertical? I'm not entirely sure if I agree with the whole randomness of it. Maybe they mean in small strips. Yeah, small one. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So we just go and try this first. And then we go and roll this up vertically. And just kind of unrolls immediately. So it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to it would have some kind of a fancy tool that would let us dedicate a line and then say this line i'll keep rolling it up like as, as if it was a, like a perfect roll but i suppose that's not how it works so with this then it's almost easier if you then stop the simulation and uh, with that selected you just go roll this up like like so you might as well do that and then just select the next part and then yeah, you know, I, I just wish there was a way that that would be more, uh, more automatic. So I mean, we can do this. You know, now I can select more. So you know, nothing, nothing's impossible. But it's just, it's really not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I had hoped it was going to be some kind of a magic magic make art button but hey that's not the case so then i wonder what the what is the what what is the what's the point of that other tool <laughs> i mean i'm just thinking is there a what would be the the workflow what's the application i guess is what i'm what i'm trying to ascertain with the roll up tool because if i have to do it manually this is yeah i can tie a knot manually like that absolutely but you know i'm thinking wouldn't it be cool if if it'd be something something along those those lines that would you know it's, you could spend a lot more time on this. So yeah, if I simulate that now, it just goes like that, I suppose. 
<laughs> it does work, which is nice. So that is kind of cool. If I reset that and even animate that. Then I can always go and play it backwards for it to kind of roll itself up or down again or whatnot. Let's try that. Uh, boom. <laughs> and it just flaps around. Cute. Oh yeah, and if that's a bit too fast, that's no problem. We can use the scene wrap. I think we just go make it uh, longer. And now it just takes Marvel's design a lot longer to do that thing. We can then also say, let's say 360 frames is uh, what we want. So the end is at 360. The rest is just wafting around. Very nice. So it does, it does work. <laughs> But just not with the roll up tool. So, but that is where I've seen it. That's interesting. That is kind of cute, isn't it? I, I could watch animations like that for days, really. <laughs> yeah, maybe three hundred is actually enough here for for a little experiment. Three hundred. Boom. I don't think we can use. We can't play this backwards in Marvelous Designer, but if I were to export this into uh, Blender, then we can do it. That's no, no problem to reverse it or um, just reverse the animation once it's done and then can just go, you know, go up and down. Wouldn't it be cool if, if this is something where we'd have my 3D shenanigans logo on it and it just goes slowly, just goes and rolls itself down. So I can just go and make the, make the time warp even, um, even slower. And then I suppose we would be okay with say from the beginning to 400. That would be nice, and it just kind of reveals the logo on it there. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? That would be a beautiful animation <laughs> inside a theater or something. I did not use the avatar pen. No, that's another great thing. Let's look into that next. Because I'm thinking if, if this this way here, uh, let me go, yeah, let me do that. And then I'll I'll say offset as internal line in smaller increments, say five centimeter increments. And then we'll make a few of them like so. Or maybe one more. Yeah, let's, let's do that. So if I then go and use the fold arrangement tool on these guys here. What happens to the bottom thing? Is that being yes? Aha, that is nice. So that does that then. That's that's cool. Uh, probably best to select that here. Is that our line already? I think so. Because that is also that's a very controlled way of rolling things up. I'm thinking for an animation. Do you know, I find it continuously fascinating that... And I really don't know what it is, Christina, but I, I am having so much fun with this program. I really don't know why. <laughs> and sometimes you can't really explain it. It's just... You just do things with it and you go, look at what it does, it's amazing! <laughs> and I think that's just so valuable if you have something that you enjoy using. <laughs> Excellent. That, you know, with patience. Come on, you can do it. Come on. <laughs> Let's animate this. I'll put the scene warp time onto one again. Oh yeah, so maybe 150 is probably enough. Well, also let's make it maybe four times uh, slower. Yeah, and then we'll say 380 is the end. 380, there. 
That's nice. You can even have each curtain rolled down slightly differently. I like that. <laughs> nice. Music's over. Dang. <laughs>